Presenting Education in Cooperatives For the opening remarks, Professor Rebecca E. Palma Good day to all of you. The group of reporters for today will have a very unique presentation on the topic focus, the importance of the cooperative education and training. Why is it that cooperative education and training is very important for the officers, the employees, and the members as well? Basically, for the members, we find cooperative education and training very relevant because through education, the members would come to know the history, the services, and how the cooperative basically operates. For the officers of the cooperative, education and training is very significant since it will be the basis and the form to which they will come to know to be able to manage and operate the cooperatives very well. For the employees, their own loyalty and commitment therein to work for the cooperative movement is very related as far as their performance in the cooperative is concerned. Today, we shall come to know the different principles of cooperative education and how these principles find it very significant in cooperative operations, growth, and development. We will also discuss the issues and concerns of cooperative education, particularly on the uh, issues of support mechanism, credibility, responsiveness, changing environment, orientation, and uh, cost-effectiveness of the cooperative education and training. And most of all, we would like to develop within the students the appreciation of co education and training so that later on, as cooperative, uh, later on when you become co-op educators and trainers, you would come to develop a culture of excellence by professionally trained cooperative trainers, which is very, very needed or badly needed in the co-op movement of today. As far as the cooperative law is concerned, the Public Act 9520 mandates the education and training program and curriculum for the officers, employees, and the members of the cooperative. I guess with this curriculum, the movement will have a pattern of growth and development as far as our vision of what we expect cooperative would be in the future. Today, cooperative leaders are having an inkling of the role of education and training as far as managing people, managing the organization, managing the employees, and managing the members as well. Let us hear from our group of reporters, their unique presentation, a collaboration within different individuals uh, with regard on how they came about Know, having this kind of presentation for all of us. Let us lend them our ears uh, and share our own sentiments also about the good thing that cooperative education and training has for the movement. I guess this is an, an important thing that we all of us should consider because this is one thing that we, we can help to be able to advocate cooperativism in the country as well to help education and PUP propagate a very responsive environment through education and being responsive to the need for national development in terms of cooperatives. So uh, let us hear from our reporters and let us cooperate and we thank all of you. According to Republic Act 9520, also known as the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008, Article 3, a cooperative is an autonomous and duly registered association of persons with a common bond of interest who have voluntarily joined together to achieve their social, economic, and cultural needs and aspirations by making equitable contributions to the capital required, patronizing their products and services, and accepting a fair share of the risk and benefits of the undertaking in accordance with universally accepted cooperative principles. Every cooperative is mandated by the Philippine Cooperative Code of 2008, Principle 5, stating, Education, Training and Information, Cooperatives shall provide education and training for their members, elected and appointed representatives, managers, and employees, so that they can contribute effectively and efficiently to the development of their cooperatives. 
What is education? Education is universally recognized as one of the most fundamental building blocks for human development and poverty reduction. What is the importance of education in the cooperative? So my answer for this first question is very important. Why? Because education provides information. Education brings knowledge. So it's essential for any organization to undertake activities in education so they could inform their members of anything that is happening in the cooperative organization. So that is to provide information and to uh, promote awareness of activities and project program uh, that will all provide its members. That's my answer. Education in cooperatives is very important. According to Ms. Rachel Duque, a cooperator who works in a field, education is very important among co-ops. Even the International Organization for Co-ops, the ICA, believes so. That is why continuous education, training, and information is part of the principles of cooperatives. As the old saying goes, the only thing that is constant is change. Everything changes, especially now. Almost all seems to conform to the fast pace of life and adapt to the globalization and technology. Of course, cooperatives should not be left behind. The competition is very stiff and a lot of developments occur in just a snap of a finger. Thus, the cooperative enterprise should be updated from time to time. Let us take, for example, the use of accounting software. Private companies nowadays use such software to input transactions for work efficiency. No more manual use of books of accounts, which is very time-consuming. However, right now, only big cops could afford to buy such software. Can't afford cops could settle to MS Excel. Another very timely example, the new RA 9520 and the joint rules and regulations of BIR and CDA regarding taxation. Cooperators must be fully aware of the regulations governing the cooperatives. Otherwise, they will not enjoy what is due for cooperatives with regards to taxation. Sabi nga, ignorance of the law excuses no one. The bottom line, the importance of education in the cooperative is to make the cooperators, whether officers or employees or plain members, to be updated and educated. Cooperative is a business and social enterprise. Not all cooperators are knowledgeable in business, in accounting, in technical know-hows of operating and governing a cooperative, and the like. Thus, they need to be trained. Education is an investment. According to Mr. Charlemagne Cuerdo, a student cooperator, education in the cooperatives is very, very important. Resulta ng magandang education ay magandang future ng isang co-op. So kung gusto ng isang co-op na tumagal at lumago, siguraduhin dapat na may sapat na edukasyon ang mga bumubuo dito. Hindi lang minsan, kundi palagian dahil palaging may pagbabago. Isa sa mga sikreto ng mga mauunlad na kooperatiba ang kayamanan nila sa kaalaman. Forms and Instruments for Information and Education Present-day cooperatives have much more in available technologies than the Rochdale pioneers could even just dream of in their day. Telephones, fax machines, email, websites, cell phones, and the older audio cassette and video cassette tapes and players can all be used for cooperative education purposes.
leaders of cooperatives, especially those assigned to education work, usually the vice chairpersons, are challenged to seriously think and brainstorm on the possibilities of maximizing available technologies to augment our education instruments, especially in the light of difficulties in physically gathering co-op members for traditional forms like seminar sessions. Photocopies of selected passages from existing books on cooperative topics can also go a long way in reaching our members with the light of truth that they need to become enthusiastic and empowered members. According to Ms. Rachel Duque, trainings, seminars, and workshops are conducted. For the employees, sometimes they are being sent to seminars conducted by other organizations. In the cooperative structure, under the BOD, there is a subcommittee called Education Committee, headed by the vice chairperson of the BOD. They are in charge for the education and training. According to Ms. Rachel Duque, the instruments being used are the usual PowerPoint presentations, meta cards, visual aids, charts, video presentations, handouts, and etc. Ayon kay Kuya Charlie Cuerdo, depende din sa kailangan ng community at mga empleyado. Kung may pagkakaiba man siguro sa type ng training, Pero ang layunin ay isa, ang mapaunlad ang sarili at kanilang kooperatiba. Information and Education for the Broader Community Puting Mantalaba et al. in the Cooperative Principles Alive in relation to the fifth cooperative principle is recognition of responsibility to inform the youth and opinion leaders about the nature and benefits of cooperation. This concern is to let the young and opinion leaders understand the concepts and benefits of cooperation and cooperatives so that they too could be contributors to the movement and the entire society's growth and development. As cooperatives go on realizing their goals and increasing their capabilities, more and more things are accomplished along the way. The cooperatives become successful one after another. Society becomes more conscious of the roles of cooperatives in a larger picture. In a community that is educated enough about the essence and principles of cooperativism, the cooperatives attract in large numbers the properly motivated applicants for membership. This is very important in upgrading the quality of the cooperative membership. Moreover, the instructors in the pre-membership education seminars are no longer talking over the heads of the seminar participants. Unquote. In the statement provided by Ms. Rachel Duque, for the community, usually they could conduct pre-membership education seminars or PMES for non-members. Topics discussed are the definition of co-op, principles, types, structures, basic information about co-op. According to Kuya Charlie, the student cooperator, it depends kung ano ang kailangan ng community. Specifically, ang training na kailangan sa community ay mga pamamaraan kung paano nila mapauunlad o matutulungan ang kanilang komunidad. For Ms. Rachel Duque, it depends also on the training. There are trainings that last for 2 to 3 days. Meron kahit isang araw or kalahating araw. Meron namang series of trainings na inaabot ng weeks. According to Charlemagne Cuerdo, also known as Kuya Charlie, Education must not cease for as long as you are willing to learn. Continuous ito. In the implementing rules and regulations of certain provisions of Republic Act 9520, Article 44, Section 6, the training is required for all cooperative officers. In cases where the incumbent has not undergone the required training program, 
he or she shall undergo such training within 12 months from the effectivity of this rule. Non-compliance with the required trainings shall be considered grounds for disqualification for future election or appointment until such time that he or she has complied with all the trainings required for the position. Section 7. All trainings attended by the cooperative officers shall be considered valid compliance with the intent of this rule for a period of five years from the date of issuance of the certificate of training, after which they shall be required to undergo retraining of the same. Section 8. All cooperatives are hereby given two years from the effectivity of this rule to comply with the training requirements as provided above.